Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Espinosa. I'm back with another lesson about how to be a mighty muscleman Mustang in the bathroom. Okay, let's remember we gallop to success as mighty muscleman Mustangs when we follow our PBIS expectations. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Remember, the grown-up's job at Muscleman is to keep you safe, and your job is to help keep it safe. Let's learn some helpful ways our mighty Muscleman Mustang family, we can keep our mighty Muscleman Mustang family safe while using the bathroom. Okay, today we are going to learn how to be helpful in the bathroom by respecting others' privacy, keeping our bodies private, and using the bathroom appropriately using the toilet appropriately, flushing the toilet, and leaving a neat seat and a clean bathroom. Okay, boys and girls, we have two very important people at our school, Mr. Mark and Miss Gabby. They are our school custodians, and they help to keep the school clean. But guess what? It's your job. It's the student's job to keep that bathroom clean. So if you see paper on the floor or you see water on the floor, you need to help clean it up. Okay, things you see in the bathroom, as always, toilet paper's over here, this is our urinal, and this is the toilet. You'll also see the stalls with the doors. Here's our soap dispenser. Over here's the paper towel dispenser. This is the sink, and here's the trash can. Okay, remember, when you go into the stall, you have to lock the door. Boys and girls, this is what the lock looks like. And you see this arrow over here? It's telling you that you need to push the lock that way. You got to push it this way, right, to lock the door. You should always lock the door, boys and girls, so you can be private in the bathroom. And then you push it this way to unlock. Okay, we wait our turn. Sometimes, boys and girls, you might go into the bathroom, especially the girls, and all the stalls are filled. You need to wait at the door for your turn. When someone comes out, then you can go in. We also need to respect others' privacy by picking an empty stall. And remember, we knock to see who's in there. We don't need to look under because then that might make people feel uncomfortable like you're trying to look at them. You need to knock and listen. If you don't hear a voice, try to open the door. If it doesn't open, it's locked. That means someone's in there. Do you see my friend? She's knocking on the door, but she's waiting because there's someone there. When you go into the store stall, don't forget to close it and lock it. This is what it looks like when it's locked. Remember, the toilet is for sitting only. My feet stay on the ground. When you are finished, you're going to place the toilet paper in the toilet. Make sure none is getting on the ground. And you flush the toilet. Now, boys and girls, right now we have toilets that flush by themselves, so I don't have to worry about that part. Now, if I have a urinal, I might have to flush it there if I'm in the boys' bathroom. Okay, remember, this is the urinal. That's the one that only the boys have, and that's only for going number one or peeing, right? You stand in front and then you go to the bathroom. Okay, then I need to wash my hands. I can get my hands wet, I use the soap, and I wash my hands. And remember, you can sing the ABCs or count to 10 in your head to make sure you really wash. Then I dry my hands and I can throw away my trash. Now, a safe keeper can be helpful by thinking about using the bathroom quickly and going right back to class. Two minutes and I should be done. Now, something about the soap, boys and girls. Do you see where my arrow is? This is the part where you have to push to make sure some soap comes out. So I put my hand under and I push to get some soap. And in the past, we said two pumps. Guess what? I'm noticing that one pump is plenty. Two pumps is just making a big mess. So everybody say, one pump. Good job. A safe keeper is being helpful by using one pump of soap. 
Now, a safekeeper can also be helpful by keeping all the water and soap in the sink. When the soap and the water are on the floor like this picture, someone in our school family may slip and fall. Look at my friends. Do they look happy? No, they have sad faces. And boys and girls, this happened last week. Someone slipped and fall, fell and banged their head on the wall. We don't want any soap or water on the floor. It needs to stay in the sink. I can use one paper towel. All right, here we go. This is what our paper towel dispenser looks like. You see that little hand? I wave my hand and a paper towel comes out just like my friend right here. And then I rip to the side and I dry my hands. I only really need one because a big piece comes out. Then I get two points by getting all my trash into the trash can. And if I see trash on the floor, I pick that up and put it in the trash can too. So what should you do if the toilet's not flushed? Well, you can flush it or tell Mr. Mark, what should you do if someone leaves the stall door open? You can say, oh, don't forget to close the door. What should you do if someone is looking under the stall? Say, no, thank you. I need my privacy. Okay, boys and girls. So we will gallop to success when we follow our PBIS expectations. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible in the bathroom. Until I see you again, I'm going to put you in my head take you to my heart and wish you well and hope that you will be safe in the bathroom. Bye for now.